Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a exciting video with two bougie makeup items. I bought the Shantikai, I don't even know what this is called, Flower Power Perfect Blur Finishing Powder in medium deep and I bought the Chanel bronzer in the new shade 395 Soleil, Soleil, Soleil Tan Deep Bronzer. So if you want to hear my first impression thoughts on these bougie makeup products, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my channel. This video is like the perfect video to describe my channel because I swear 10 years ago, if I was trying to find swatches and first impressions on products like this on my skin tone, I would not have had very good luck and I feel like I'm so grateful for that having changed on YouTube. So very, very excited to be playing with these products, checking to see if they're tan girl friendly. If you enjoy that type of content, I would highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell, and without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I scored the new Chanel bronzer on the Chanel website. This was $50, and I don't really know if you get like more product than a regular bronzer. It is like a cream to powder kind of formula. It says there's one ounce of product in here, and I'm holding the Juvia's Place Tan Bronze Palette, and this has 1.14 ounces of product, but it's a powder and there's two of them. So I do know like liquid, this particular foundation has 1.08 fluid ounces. So I feel like there's definitely a ton of product in here. It's probably gonna take me a whole lifetime to pan this bronzer, but let's talk about the bronzer quick. I had originally bought the shade 390 because so many YouTubers rave about this bronzer. And I used to watch all the big YouTubers back in the day, like Jacqueline Hill and Manny and Laura and stuff like that. And I feel like, was it Jacqueline Hill that really got this bronzer kind of hyped up? So I bought it and I realized it was basically my skin color and I was poor back then. I think I was like in college or, you know, just starting out. And so I was like, I can't keep this. I can't afford it. So I don't remember if I sold it on Poshmark or I returned it. But anyway, I didn't end up keeping it because it was basically my skin tone. So now I'm excited that Chanel at least added one more shade. It's definitely still not enough. But I also kind of wanted to do some research and see if this shade would work for me. I do have some of my popular foundation shades listed in the description box if you guys ever wanna know what my foundation shade is. I did get a little tan this weekend. I was outside. We bought an outdoor couch, so I've been living on the couch and I definitely tanned up a bit, so my face is definitely darker than I'm used to. I don't know if my arm, but I swear I can notice it on my face. So anyway, the, all of that to say, I tried out the bronzer and I also decided to grab this because I had a Nordstrom note from spending too much money at Nordstrom. So I did buy this powder and it says, it smooths and perfects your complexion with this ultra fine instant blur powder. The weightless finish formula helps skin appear softly filtered and flawless. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you see all of that happening because I personally didn't really notice it. It does say it has a 30 month shelf life, no animal testing, fragrance free, vegan and gluten free. I love this packaging. I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh, can I get some earrings? Like, can I get some earrings like this? That'd be so cute. I love that so, so much. So it has like raised little flowers on it and some people say it almost looks like little erasers but I wonder if somebody literally sat there and like hand glued all of these flowers. I don't know enough about packaging to be able to give you guys a knowledgeable answer on that. This has 0.28 ounces of product so not a lot of powder for $80. Yes I said it. It was an $80 powder and it was even more expensive once I paid taxes. So we got a lot of bougie makeup here. I mean Combined, we have about $130 worth of makeup, which is wild to me. You guys know I don't usually spend that kind of money on makeup, but I made an exception for these two products because I feel like they're so hyped. Anyway, I did film applying those, so let's go ahead and get into that demo. Hey guys, so I'm filming a video inside a video and <laughs> I wanted to film me trying out this Chanel bronzer so I could include it in my video of my thoughts on this, like first impressions. I got it in the shade 395, which is tan deep. 
and it's a 12 month shelf life made in France and the lighter one is called 390 I believe so it looks pretty magical and chocolatey. If you guys watch YouTube, I know so many creators rave about this bronzer and it prompted me to buy the original. Sorry, I'm looking for a brush. It prompted me to buy the original, but then I realized the original was basically my skin tone. So I was really excited that they came out with another shade, even though, I mean, I feel like they still need to do more. I'm still very excited as a tan girl to try out the deeper shades so i'm just grabbing this elf brush which has actually come in handy with cream products and i don't know if i put enough on or how it is best to do this but i don't want to put too much on to start off Ooh. to start off with but let's see i think this is like a creamy almost to powder formula so Let's see how it works. Can you guys see that? Ooh, it's pretty. I'm going like really light because I don't want to freak myself out. But there's some more. Okay, now I'm like swirling a little bit more bravely as I can only say. And let's put some on the, oh, on the jawline as well. I know a lot of my friends swear by the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I think she's got two shades of that. And I've tried it. I just really don't like the packaging of the contour wand. So if Chanel could make this work for me, I'd be a very happy camper. Okay, I went a little heavy there. But I think once I use my blush and highlighter... It'll be fine, right? So yeah, that is kind of the first look at how I applied it. It smells really good. <laughs> yeah, it has like a floral, like fresh scent to it. I do like that. So I just wanted to include a little demo in this video. And then I will show you guys the final look once I finish up the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I also want to demo this product. I caved so many people raving about this powder, including, of course, Teresa is dead. And so I got it in the medium deep as well to try out. $80 powder. I've never paid $80 for a powder before. Yeah, no, I don't think I have. So I'm very, very nervous. I love the packaging. It's adorable. I just grabbed this random old Tarte brush. So I haven't really watched many videos on this. So I'm just gonna swirl and I really need to powder under my eyes. And everything on my face as far as like bronzer, blush, and highlighter is cream. So, I don't know guys, I swear. I'm like such a skeptic. Also my skin is being very problematic this week. I sat outside and I don't know if I burnt myself and my skin just needs to peel but it's been rough. I'm like itchy. I got bumps everywhere. Like the struggle is real. What do I feel like that did? I don't know. I don't feel like it did anything magical. I will go out and I will continue to try this, but I just figured since I was doing a demo with the Chanel bronzer, I might as well throw in that I bought that powder as well. So I got nothing. I got nothing. This is why I don't review like powders and stuff because it always takes me a while to formulate my opinion. Um, but I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back to show you. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo. This video is definitely a little bit rocky. I'm rushing to get ready for work. I'm also not very happy with the eyeshadow look and my skin I think is peeling from a sunburn so I'm just not very happy with the whole application in general but I just wanted to give you guys that information up front. So far though I am loving the bronzer. I'm very excited to continue playing with it. I just love how beautifully it blended and I will wear it the whole day-ish and see how it does and I didn't put any powder products on so I just did cream bronzer, cream uh, blush, and cream 
highlighter and then I set it all with the Chantecaille powder and the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, flawless setting spray this guy so we'll see how it goes but so far I think that one was a win the Chantecaille powder again I need to play with I just need to do like a face of makeup that I love and see if this amps it up a notch or not I don't have any experience with this powder from previous times using it so I don't really have a lot to say Overall, I don't know that $80, <laughs> like, I don't know how to justify this, especially if it's something you get attached to and you want to keep repurchasing, that is, like, way, way pricey for me. But it is cute. I'm glad Shantikai bought it back, and I really don't have too many thoughts on it, so I don't want to keep droning on. But the bronzer, I like. I like. If you're deeper than me, though, I'm not sure it's going to show up on you. I definitely need Chanel to come out with more shades. At least one or two more deep shades and then a, sh a lighter shade for very fair skin tones too. I think the 390 would work for most light skin tones because you can like reduce the amount you apply and sheer it out that way because the formula is pretty good. But I'm not 100%. I don't have a light skin tone so I'm not sure. But overall those are kind of my first impression thoughts on the products. I will keep you guys updated though. Usually I like to link what I'm wearing on my face in my description box and if I fall in love with the product, you'll see it over and over again in my description box. So anyways, that is everything for me today, guys. Just a quick little video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. You know I love chatting to you there and I will talk to you soon. Bye!